the Saints are back, and this time they're running the country. Well, they would be, but Emperor Zinyak has taken over the Earth and put you in a computer simulation of Steelport, because video games. Yes, despite the promise of presidency, your White House shenanigans are short-lived. This is a game about alien invasion, with shameless homages to the Matrix, they live, and a dozen other pop culture things. It's also pretty damn well written, with a lot more pacing and better variety than the slightly disappointing Saints Row the Third. This time around, you're doing more, seeing more, and, uh, shagging more. While the core gameplay remains largely as you'd expect the same, Saints Row 4 tosses a few new tricks your way. Setting the world in a virtual reality has given Volition an excuse to be more over the top than ever, but the added context and the drip feeding of powers and weaponry gives it a solid sense of pace, with a focus on variety as opposed to simple and desensitising escalation. In many ways, 4 plays out like a best-of collection of open-world game ideas, with the Saints boss gaining access to superpowers culled from Crackdown, Infamous and Prototype. Super sprinting, mega jumping, wall running, gliding, elemental blasts, telekinesis, mind control, vehicle punting and more are joined by such weapons as the Inflato shotgun, Obducto ray and Singularity gun to produce a power fantasy of ludicrous proportions. Add to this a selection of missions that take us out of Steelport to parody games like Metal Gear Solid and Streets of Rage and you have a game that consistently surprises you. In a good way. Graphically, well, it's Saints Row and you know what you're getting. Art direction trumps raw power, and the customization options are beautifully rich as always, allowing you to create a boss fashioned of any gender, any colour, any taste. Though we've returned to Steelport, Volition's done a good job of making it feel fresh with the new Zin Empire overtones and the Obey signs ripped straight from Roddy Piper's classic movie. The environment shimmers and glitches to remind us we're in a computer, a sometimes distracting and overbearing decision, but one that mostly does a good job of building the right atmosphere. Volition are masters of pop culture exploitation, and the sound design is pitch perfect. A soundtrack that includes Aerosmith, Stan Bush, and of course, Hadaway ensures you've got one of the best selection of radio tunes an open world game could enjoy, and when 4 takes over to use a predetermined tune, it's always sublime. The voice actors are all top notch, especially JB Blunk, who does a mesmerising turn as the affable, cultured, deliciously detestable Emperor Zinyak. Saints Row the Third let me down a tiny bit, to where I felt sad when the credits rolled. Saints Row 4 also made me feel sad upon completion, but for totally different reasons. It delivers so much content, tries and succeeds with so many ideas, and takes the very best of open world sandboxes to date that this is easily worth your checking out. It had me laughing my head off within the first 10 minutes, with more laughs in store throughout. And given my general distaste for most video game comedy, you can rest assured that's damn high praise.